My name is Andrew Quinn. I'll be doing sound reactive computer graphics for some of the concerts for the Biennale. I come from the world of 3D animation, digital graphics. I've worked on films doing 3D animation, films like Matrix, Tomb Raider. Sound reactive visuals are the interaction between audio and visual. The, literally, we connect the audio to the computer and then analyse the audio and then produce visuals based on what we hear. It's all pre-programmed material, which also we can modulate during the performance. So typically I'm there with the audio coming in, I have either the mouse or I have a set of sliders and buttons that then will trigger pre-programmed effects or fade-ins or even the amount of reaction to the audio will be slowly filtered in. So everything is created in real time. This year I've got two concerts to do. There's a concert of Russian composers and another concert of European composers. And I'm already in touch with um, the composers I'll be working with to get their ideas of what they'd like to see and how if they have any sort of basic um, visual ideas that I can then use as a basis for what I do. So I have the tracks already for some of these visuals, uh, whereas others are prima assoluta, so I won't have the tracks until the concert is performed. Three years ago I started working with graphics and music, um, doing visuals for Mito, for a concert of Repertorio Zero. And then last year I was working for um, Koine, a series of contemporary music concerts at Teatro Dal Verme in Milan. And here I found that um, it was very interesting, the number of people, how the number of people grew. We found that we were getting three, four hundred people at each concert. And the people, uh, the management at Pomeriggi Musicale had said that they were very surprised at the number of people for a contemporary music concert, because sadly, people don't go to those concerts. And it was the visual element, I think, that attracted the younger audience and those interested in seeing something different that, that helps let them understand the music. These days, digital Technology is used for virtual, creating virtual sets. So I recently did a virtual set for an opera which was also 3D imagery, stereoscopic. Well, I work with technology, but of course the aesthetic of the music is very important to understand. And I'm a musician by, my first work was music. I compose and I play piano. So, I think I can appreciate how visuals can work with music, being part musician and part visual artist. For me, the visual will be a counterpoint to the music. Music that's written well doesn't need a visual. But I'm not there to reinforce, but I'm there to create a visual that lives by itself, but at certain times when it's effective, I make it sync to the music using these using this technology. Mm -hmm. 